Hello everyone, uh, today I want to show you guys how to install the screen capture program for the iPhone simulator. If you are trying to record a, a video from your app, you know, with a little finger, you know, working on the app, uh, it's pretty easy. I mean, actually it was hard for me because I didn't uh, know what was wrong with the application I was trying to install so that's what I'm gonna teach you guys today uh, first you're gonna need to have the three programs uh, one is Symbol, another one is the iPhone uh, simulator capture and the other one is, uh, is like a Xcode project that you're gonna run and make the iPhone simulator plugin for the simulator to install it. So I'm gonna put all the links on the description um, and it's, it's very easy. The, the only trick that I was having I don't know if it's because I'm running Lion, the latest version for the iOS, is when I was trying to install this Symbol program uh, the folder destinated for the program was was coming empty. Uh, I didn't know why, but uh, I figured this out. And I, uh, what you need to do is you, you just copy this library dash input managers, and that's where the application goes to, and that's where you're gonna have to find the application. So you're just gonna you know install it normally. No, no big deal. Uh, and it's gonna actually it's gonna create the folder for you. Uh, you don't need to worry about creation, creating the folder. Uh, so what you need to do is just go ahead and install it. You can go ahead and install the iPhone simulator also. I'm not gonna install it because I'm gonna overwrite my my program. It's just go continue, continue. Pretty easy. So what you you need to do is like uh, you can just go ahead and go and go uh, to folder or just command shift G uh, and you're gonna have to go to uh, this folder library the input managers and that's where you your application uh, will be the symbol application. So you, you're just gonna have to copy these. I copied both files. So I don't know, maybe just symbol is working. So you just copy them and again you're gonna you know command go, command shift G, go to folder, and you're gonna paste that on applications support dash symbol dash plugins. That folder will be created already when you install the, the program. But for me the file wasn't coming to this folder so I needed to do the copy thing myself. So af after you co you're coming here copying the files uh, you're gonna have to to modify uh, this this iPhone simulator capture that bundle with uh, the iPhone simulator version that you're gonna have to open up and you come to uh, come on it's slow because it's recording but uh, you come here iPhone simulator and click about iOS simulator and these numbers you're gonna have to copy you can just you know just remember them 358.4 uh, and uh, you're gonna click right click on the iPhone uh, simulator bundle and go show uh, show up show package contents you can you can go ahead and close the simulator because you're gonna have to install this so click on that you're gonna find this folder inside that and uh, you're gonna need to modify the info that table list. This is normal. You can find this tutorial anywhere in the in the in the web. Just I'm just doing it all over so you can go by step by step and see how it works. So now uh, you're gonna have to open 
Uh, I open with... Uh, actually, I'm sorry. You close it. Uh, I, I had it to copy the file and paste it that's on my desktop because it don't let me modify it here. So when you're here, just click open. It's going to open with Xcode. Come to uh, CMIN target application. And you're going to have to change whatever you have on these two here inside the perimeters. Uh, so uh, just change for whatever you have on your Xcode simulator and save it and you just drag over and gonna replace it. I'm not gonna replace it because I already have it right. So so now you have your your file fine here. Uh, one thing more you're gonna need to do, actually it's two more. Uh, copy all these files. I didn't want to copy just one. I copied all of them. Uh, and you're going to have to go again, Command Shift G, and go to the folder. That you, You're not going to have these folders created. So you're going to have to go to Library Application Support with these before. That means it's your local folder. Uh, so after you come here, you're gonna have to create by yourself, you know, just go new folder and name it the same name uh, as the other one. You're gonna on the other folder, you know, just I just remember uh, I just created the same thing, all cap letters and this other one plugins and you're just gonna paste it all that those files here, you know, paste it, bam, you're fine. Uh, you know and after that it's it's pretty easy you just you just have to go to to this you know where I have these programs you remember these two you already installed so you come here to the iPhone simulator uh, uh, these that you also downloaded from I get it from uh, Giprub but I think it's it's a lot of version out there you can find it but uh, after you have these you just come to the Xcode project uh, open up and uh, all you need to do you don't need to change much but all you need to do here is come to the resources folder and the resources folder you can find the info.playlist yeah, I'm sorry, info that lead the P list. And also you're gonna need to come here and also change the your uh, simulator version, uh, bundle version, and you know just remember that whatever you have your simulated paste it here. And all you need to do is run. You may get some errors like like I did. It's, it's not a big deal. I I don't even did this thing here, so it's it's fine. So after after this, you just you can close it and just up again your iPhone simulator, and it should appear the recording menu. There we go. You find the recording menu, and. Uh, and that's it. You you have recording working, and uh, you to record. You just come here, click record or command R. And first, just another tip: when I open up first time, this button wasn't here, and I couldn't record it. So I just quit the simulator and open again, and it worked fine. So you just click here. The timer is gonna start. That means that you're recording, and uh, you can do whatever you want here. And uh, another another thing, you can come to preferences and record pointer if you wish. And that's it. You press stop here. Just come recording, save movie, and that's it. You put whatever you want it to be. In. That's it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys. Uh, this worked for you and uh, it worked for me, All right? Thank you.